Hi, welcome to the Gigabyte G1 Sniper 5 motherboard, which, as you can see, supports a whole range of gaming features, especially designed for gamers, as part of our G1 Killer series of motherboards. Being an 8 series board, it supports the LGA 1150 CPU socket right here for uh, Intel fourth generation CPUs. And of course, this is also a Z80, uses the Z87 chipset. But well, the important thing about this board is that it debuts gigabyte amp up audio, which is a range of technologies and features, which I'd like to introduce to you right now. So as you would expect from any G1 killer series motherboard, we put on here a very advanced high-end audio chip. We, this time we're using the Creative Soundcore 3D chip, which, also, which is a quad-core audio processor, which also comes packaged with the Creative Sound Blaster SBX Pro Studio, which is a bunch of uh, audio applications, which are great for gamers and also for hi-fi buffs. Also here you'll notice we're using quite old-fashioned looking uh, capacitors. These are actually very high-end Nichicon Japanese-made capacitors, which are perfect, a perfect fit for uh, audio processing. You'll notice here we also have the front panel connector, which sits next to it is a small amplifier. This, uh, this is a headphone amplifier designed to handle up to 600 ohm loads and deliver that to your headphones so that if you're connecting your headphones over your front panel, you'll have the best experience possible. And you'll notice here on the, the side I.O., we've got the SPDIF, uh, DisplayPort, HDMI, and audio connectors are all gold-plated, which means that over time they won't corrode and you'll have absolutely the best connection possible. The whole section of the motherboard is separated at the PCB layer by what we call this audio noise guard here. And it's actually... Uh, we're using an LED trace path here to show where the PCB layer is separated. This helps uh, reduce any possible ESD leakage from the rest of the board to the audio components in the corner here. We've also, you'll notice that there's a gold shield over the, the Creative Soundcore 3D chip itself, which also helps to reduce ESD leakage. But without doubt, the, the coolest feature on our new G1 Killer uh, 8 series motherboards, both the Sniper 5 and the M5, is an addition here of an operational amplifier or op amp. Now, an operational amplifier is a removable amplifier, so this can be switched out. We are, we're actually bundling one operational amplifier with the board already installed, but within the package here, you'll also find an extractor and one additional operational amplifier so that you can switch out and try and compare the two different sounds between the two op amps. Now, without an op amp, you'll notice the difference in quality is enormous. With the addition of the op amp, you're going to get a much clearer, much louder, and punchier sound. And each of these op amps will have their own individual characteristics. Now, this is the first time that this has been used on a motherboard. Usually, you'll find this kind of uh, amplifier on a high end uh, audio equipment, but it's never been featured on a DIY PC motherboard, so we're very happy to introduce this to our users. Uh, let's, let's have a look at the op amp and um, maybe you can hear the difference, even via YouTube. Right, so now we want to give you a chance to hear the difference in sound quality between using an op amp and not using an op amp. So we have a system set up here, this is the G1 Sniper 5 motherboard. And we've got a pair of creative speakers, which are quite mainstream speakers, they're not super expensive. And we've also got this system set up so we can very easily switch between op amp and regular audio. So first of all, we'll listen to a classical track without the op amp. Okay. Now we can listen to it with the op amp. So you can tell straight away without the op amp there's a drop in volume, it doesn't sound as punchy, it doesn't sound as clear. You can turn the op amp back. And without. Yeah, there's clearly a very big difference there. That's it. 
So let me quickly show you how to uh, switch out your operational amplifier. Here you can see we have one operational amplifier already installed in the op amp socket and we want to switch it out and put this one in its place. So first of all we take the extractor, we extract the op amp like so, then we take our, our other op amp and we're making sure that we can see that there's a dent here and also a dent here so we can make, we know we're putting it in the right way around. And the, the eight pins simply go into the socket and are pushed down like so.